In this video I'll be showcasing my new 1991 Honda VFR 750F. That's right everyone, I made the deal and traded my old 1987 Kawasaki KLR 250 for a 1991 Honda VFR 750 that I've affectionately named Vicky. You don't know me. If you are interested in why I traded my KLR 250 for a VFR 750, then you should click this video right now and check it out. So now the VFR is all mine. I didn't just get this amazing gear-driven V4 sport touring legend, but I also inherited all of the miscellaneous problems that came with this beast. We do, we do have souls, all right? First off, the bike dies when out of stop if you don't consistently give it gas. It will also die if you turn the throttle too quickly. The chain is kinked with gunk and grime, and the previous owner doesn't know anything about the maintenance that has been done to the bike, and he's owned it for over a year. Well, this is all going to change because this is my VFR build video. By the end of this video, I'll be riding the VFR, and it'll be running better than ever before. Alright guys, so I've removed the two side fairings, the belly fairing, uh, the seat, and the tank. I didn't film me doing that, I should have, but it was just a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, one thing I've realized right away is this is much different than the KLR. The KLR is just so freaking easy. I mean, you want to remove the tank, two screws, one bolt, and then you disconnect the petcock, done. Or you disconnect the line, go into the petcock, and you rip it off and it's done. This, it has this hose, which was like frozen on there. I had to uh, kind of rip it a little bit. I'm going to have to replace that probably. Um, and it had also this other hose, which vacuum maybe? I'm not sure. Then it had a, a wire on it, which is over there. You can see it on the ground. Uh, that wire was connected somewhere in here. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and remove the air box. And then uh, next will be to pull the carbs. So let's see how bad they look. I have a soul. Ginger and proud of it. What? You don't know me. Whoa, look at this. The material is just completely gone. And look, you can actually see right through the airbox right there. Yep. It's gonna need a new filter, unfortunately. I kinda want to avoid getting one, but I mean, this is just, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. I can't have this. You see right through it to the daylight. <laughs> Oh man, alright, that's another part we're gonna have to order. Damn!
don't know me. What? Jesus has soul. I go to church. I'm a Christian. We do. We do have souls, all right? Um... Oh, look at oh, it. Look at gas. You're not God. Dude, blow the fucking thing up. You ain't get gas pumping. That's not good. Alright, let's stop. 150. Right. It's gonna, it's gonna keep going up, dude. Alright. Otherwise, fuck you, bitches. Okay guys, so I'm about to remove the last two spark plugs. Actually, I already removed one. I'm about to remove the last spark plug. Uh, just to show you guys what you gotta do on these VFR 750s. You gotta unbolt the radiator, which has one bolt, and it's on that side. You can see the hole right there. Uh, here's the hole for that right there. You unbolt that. I have a bungee cord kind of pulling it away, because I'm by myself here. And then the fan, you gotta unbolt the fan. The fan's bolted on with these three tiny bolts, eight millimeters. Take those three off and you can move the fan away. You slide your socket in and then make sure your wrench is on loosen, push it in and you can loosen the spark plug out. Uh, here's my spark plug on that, uh, on the clutch side. Uh, but they definitely look old and I'm glad I'm replacing them. All right, so here is my foam cannon, link to buy it in the description, along with the soap. You're not God. 
Here is just water. Okay, phase one of wet in the bike complete. Now I'm going to switch this over into the foam mode and we'll see how it looks. All right, I just got done hand washing it with a mitt. I only had one bucket, you're really supposed to use two, but yeah, she looks pretty good. Now I gotta hand dry her before quickly before she dries from the sun. All right, so she is now finished being waxed. I use Guire's Gold along with Turtle Wax Ice, and that gives me the shine that you see now. Ginger and proud of it.